On today's video, I may have finally found out why my worst ever beer was terrible. Hi, I'm Daryl, and on this channel, normally you'll see me brewing a beer, although recently I've been trying to milk dry um, the worst beer that I ever made because I can't drink it, so I might as well make as much content out of it as I possibly can. Uh, like and subscribe. So basically, I made a really bad beer and I left it for six months to try and see if it would mature and get better. It didn't, it remained bad. <laughs> this is not how I planned this going. I tried working out what was wrong with it. I'm pretty sure that it's got some issues with all of its aspects, but uh, mostly because I put too many hops in it and also because I feel like it might've got oxidized. Um, it looked bad tasted bad, had a real weird soapiness to it, um, and a butteriness. I know butter is not a good taste to have in a beer, it normally means bad things have happened. Coincidentally, when I posted my latest video uh, about retasting that bad beer, um, the Craft Beer Channel, which is the go-to uh, beer and brewing channel. I'm really hoping that you'll subscribe to that uh, before you subscribe to this, because you'll learn way more with those guys uh, than you will from me, probably. It's a really good video worth watching, and during that video, uh, they were talking about hop creep, and I thought, gosh, that sounds like something I've never heard of, um, and something that could be affecting my terrible beer. Uh, so, what is hop creep, you ask? So, hop creep is basically a secondary fermentation of the beer when you really don't want it to happen. Um, it produces a diacetyl taste, so it goes buttery, uh, like how my beer was, um, and it's caused by huge amounts of hops. Generally, it's from dry hopping. Um, this beer wasn't actually dry hopped, but it did have a very uh, big hop stand at the end, which could result in um, the issues that I've got here. Basically, what happens is that enzymes uh, that would normally get boiled away if you were boiling the hops uh, make their way into the fermenting beer um, and it can cause a secondary fermentation and uh, sugars that you weren't really planning on having um, fermented end up fermenting because of the enzymes that are being uh, put into the beer from the hops. This causes not only your beer to end up being a higher ABV than you're expecting, but it also results in it carbing more than you were expecting it to, um, which is what my beer was like. It really had a horrible foamy head that tasted bad, and so I think that that is a, a key um, indicator uh, to suggest that a secondary fermentation has happened, and that fermentation has been caused by these enzymes um, in hop creep. So doing a bit of a deep dive into hop creep is a really interesting phenomena because actually it's one of those things that was kind of forgotten about. So there was a load of research done in the late 1800s um, into hop creep because they were dry hopping beer and they were getting uh, issues uh, like what I'm experiencing here. Um, but then what happened is brewing changed and um, people weren't dry hopping as much. Uh, until really the last 10, 20 years when, uh, you know, hazy IPAs have come onto the scene and lots of very hoppy beers are now popular. And as a result, uh, more and more breweries and home brewers are experiencing hop creep. Uh, and it's really hard to stop. The best way around it is to not dry hop your beers as much, but try telling a home brewer that. We love dry hopping. <laughs> So one of the key ways that you can apparently um, avoid hop creep is by having a slightly warmer dry hop, which is interesting because I'm quite a keen Kvike yeast uh, user, so I don't normally interact with hop creep. Um, but this beer was brewed quite um, early in the year in a very cold patch, uh, so I imagine that um, this resulted in these enzymes doing their nasty work uh, and ruining this beer. So it's probably why some of my recent um, hoppy beers haven't actually had this issue because they've been fermented much warmer and so these enzymes haven't been able to wreck my beer in the same way, which is quite lucky for me. So I'll just quickly show you the beer again um, and show you just uh, what hop creep looks like. 
So first of all, it is foaming like crazy. It wants to escape. That is secondary fermentation if I've ever seen it. Oh, I immediately feel like I should have used a bigger glass. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Buttery, miserable. I'm not drinking any more of that. You got the deal. Anyway, so that's what hop creep is. Uh, so, so the way you stop this is by putting in less dry hops in your beers. Um, also by um, dry hopping warmer, which can be an issue with certain yeasts, but not with Kvike yeasts. Um, and uh, yeah, just hope for the best really. Uh, secondary fermentation absolutely sucks. I was really lucky that none of my bottles exploded, uh, really, because that can happen. Um, if you were making a beer that's meant to be quite high in its pressure already, then this is gonna push it over the edge and make your bottles explode. So I got lucky. This beer is nasty. Let's, uh, let's give it a sip one last time, shall we? Miserable. <laughs> oh, so soapy. Right, that's the last time I'll drink that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel and like this video and all that other stuff. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Cheers. Ha, ha, ha.